Hey guys, uh, so Lasser 2024 is here. So let's watch the video overview where I'm gonna explain the functionality of Lasser in general and what's new in 2024 and how to use the tax software. Let's dive in. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kat and I am a CPA with more than 10 years of experience. I was working at Big Four, at Music Business Management, and now I'm a freelancer. I have my small tax preparation firm. And here on YouTube, I record videos on different tax software, different uh, tools for professional tax preparers. And also I teach how to start become a tax preparer from zero. So please subscribe to my channel for more updates. As I just mentioned, I'm going to do a review uh, and I'm just going to explain you how LACERT 2024 works. I'm going to go over its functionality, the way they present the program, how to use it. And um, yeah, so that's kind of things. And I'll also go over a couple of dates we have in 2024. So that's how LACERT 2024 looks like, right? Uh, so this software is a desktop based, so you have to download and install this software. And I had a video recorded for you, so you can just go back and check that out. So the, uh, I really like how, so sorry, I think I just opened something somewhere. Let me close it. Yeah, I was just playing with Lacert. Uh, alrighty, so the way it's structured, the way they present the software of, for us, it's extremely useful. So right here, they have a couple tabs and all these tabs are actually in the order in which we prepare a tax return. So right here, we start with the clients where we can access and look at all the clients. All these columns can be changed. So if you want to add something like, let's say, e-file status or something else or e-file signature, you can do that if you would like to, right? So clients. Then we go to details. So here is where we enter all the tax information. So for example, we start with the client information and that's where we go. And also it has some sub menus. So basically the way to look at this, we can... Um, Sorry, I go back to details. We can go to general table of content and just kind of look at all the subsections or we can go to each of them, right? And then just kind of change it up. So we don't have to go to the summary every single time. Uh, so it's really up to you how you prefer to use it. After you enter all the information, we would go to forms to double check our entry. So I'm recording this video in December, so the forms are still not available, but that's where the forms would be. So right here, you can see the forms. And if you would like to just access all the forms that Lacerd has to offer, you can just press show all, all. And then the ones that are not highlighted are other forms that are not presented in the tax return at this moment, but you can access them. And sometimes, let's say, if you want to enter any information there, you can, right? All right, let's see. So for forms, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can print individual forms or present it in a full screen. Diagnostics. So here we'll have all the diagnostics and won't, be a, won't let us to e-file. So critical diagnostics are actually the ones that we won't be able to e-file and information just for our information. Analysis. So this is just a very cool option. Again, like because I'm looking in December, it's not presented there yet. But after we prepare the tax return, the LACERT will kind of like analyze the tax return for us and tell us what um, suggestions they would have. Trial balance. This is for entering um, importing. Oh, I'm so sorry. It, it opens in a different section. I'll show you right now like this. So if you would like, it's more for, uh, I guess it's more for business tax return. Maybe you can use it for Schedule C's, but I would just use it for business tax return. So you can upload the profit and loss or I mean trial balance and we'll go to the tax return. E-signature dashboard. So you can purchase the e-signatures and just file it. And it's actually super easy. So you can just one click request e-signature. So I'm going to show you how to do it later. And the new things that they added this year is into a tax advisor. So this is just like a tax planner kind of technology. I'm not sure exactly why it doesn't work right now, but in general, it allows you to like, um, 
sorry, I think my internet is a little off. It um, allows you to analyze and create scenario for a text presentation. All right, so that's this menu. If you go to this menu, we can choose the text type. So every single time we switch from one text return type to another, we have to go to text type and go to partnership, corporate, or S corps. Uh, I just installed individual um, the Lacert for individuals only, but uh, I will later up, uh, install one for partnerships and S corps, and that's what I changed to use it. To add text return, delete, renumber, so all kind of stuff, backup, restore the file. So for example, I'll show you how to do uh, backup this text return. You just enter backup, destination, and we'll save you the file with all the files for Lacerts that you can send it to somebody and then they can restore it if they want. So they just go to restore and use that file, right? And here you go, we have some import, we can import di different kind of stuff, export file. Um, so that's another way to do export file. So you can use one or another. E-file, so this section created for e-file. So that's where we e-file text return, get acknowledgement, all that kind of stuff into its signatures. Just a quick interruption. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also want to mention that I sell online courses on how to use different text softwares. So for example, I do have online course on Lacert. And if you're not sure if you want Lacert or any other text software, I have like a course on a test drive for different text softwares. But anyways, sorry for interrupting you. Please check it out my website, remotecpainla.com for more details. Uh, so again, for print section, we can print our text return there, uh, extensions, like all kind of stuff. So when we go to print text return, we can choose which one we want to print, right? So we can choose complete copy, client copy, government, partial text return. And if you want to uh, pass for protect PDF, any kind of stuff. So here, how we choose it and we can like return option, client copy. Anyway, so we can print anything we want. That's what I'm trying to say. Filter, it just kind of like to change filters for us. If you would need to details, uh, yeah, so like for example, if you press on details, we can go add new property. Uh, honestly, I never use this input option, so I'm going to research more and add what it actually mean, because that's just something very new for me. Uh, on view, we can view all, like the way we want to view uh, all the text return. Also, like for example, what I usually use is to I do add the check marks on the text return when I review it. So I don't think I'll be able to do it right now. But in general, on a text return, every time we double check the number, which we don't have numbers here, so I wouldn't be able to do it. But I do the check mark and then eventually you can just do uh, clear all audit checks on all forms if you would like to or show all audit checks. So you can just review your audit checks. For tools, so here we have import, export data. So for import, we have a trial balance, schedule D, a fixed assets, like stuff like that. Let's see, print W2, so all kind of stuff. Into a text advisor that also is right here. So certain things are in here and also it has like those icons in here, but majority of the menu is on top of it. Import. So this import is extremely excited for me this year. That's a new one. So we would be able to add scan PDF and it's supposed to just automatically, I mean, I guess AI will put it on the text forms. Also, we would be able to log in online to different accounts and pull up information. So I'm su super excited about it. So it's going to be really awesome. So that's new. I mean, Schedule D import, this kind of stuff were here last year, but that's just something that are very important if you have a like huge tax return, if you need to import information. Uh, settings, so here's where we change different kind of options, like preferences, right? So for example, if I do need to update my information as prepare information, I go to prepare as a firm company, e-signature fonts, uh, display, if I want to add more stuff to be presented. So this is where we adjust our preferences, right? And let's see, resources resources we usually will be able to find all information needed like different websites training materials my account so super super awesome 
I love it. And for help, we have um, search. We can search and there's lots of very useful information. And then let's see what else is like all kind of stuff. So usually like for Lacert, I honestly never called Lacert for asking for help because I was able to find all the information online. So they have an extremely helpful support system. So that's that. Also, let's just quickly take a look at those columns. So show full page of text return, right? So that's easy. So that's just kind of comes back to um, this 100%. Then this is where changing the views. This is for print. This is for e-file, e-file acknowledgement. This is for if you want to get um, paid per text return access or just get more text return. Uh, let's see, I'm just like, I'll just calculator, I guess if you need it. Um, import client data from scanned PDF. So that's a new, so basically all this stuff from here just have some icons, but we can modify that as well. So you can change the preferences, right? And on the left side, we have, uh, let's go to clients. We'll just have all clients, e-file clients, e-file center. So we can uh, also filter by, by like uh, help the firm prepare, but like different kind of stuff. So all these things, you can change it up. So if you would like to, you know, have uh, all the tax returns that are prepared by this one prepare, or that actually like you filed all the F bars, so you can just modify it. And anywhere else, like if you would like to add more more icons in here, or for example, when you go to clients and you would like to see more than just couple options right here, all this kind of stuff can be changed. And just want to show you this thing again, because my internet didn't work at the beginning of the video, so now it does. So here we can just pre create the plans for tax advice or tax planning. It's a really cool option. Highly recommend you to try it out. Well, hope you enjoy using LaCert this year. Good luck to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you. Goodbye.